Welcome, and this is 288 21.5. Um, how you guys doing today? My name's Rob. I'm also Keck, Elder Rito, Bobby. Um, so today I'm taking time to try to slowly introduce the fact of a vlog or going into podcast as well because a lot of people seem to like my um, perspective on video games and, and movies and actually ask me, hey, um, what's your idea? Uh, what do you think about this movie? And what do you think about this game? Is this game a good idea? Is this movie good to watch? Because, you know, I have a unique contrast on ideas of entertainment. Um, so... First, I, I, if, you, if you've been friends with me on Facebook, I've had, let's see, um, comic book company, Dying Squirrel, where I tried to work on the comic books. Um, I also, way, 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 way back in the day, I had um, Vicious Ink, which was just a comic, uh, was a art idea. And then later on, I also had a thing called Button Smash, where I had a couple of friends and I, we uh, tell you what we talk about video games, and our reviews on how one video games came out, and we had different people with different genres and types of video games that fit their personality and they played better at. Um, so I'm trying this again. Um, hopefully this is the, the first of many. Um, fingers crossed. So today, if you don't want to hear anybody ramble about comic books, movies, video games, TVs, or anything like that, you're more welcome to go ahead and stop this because uh, that's what's going to be probably the next 15 minutes. Uh, if you just want to hear Madman ramble, welcome to my show. How's it going? Um, first, we're going to start off with uh, comic books. I, um, normally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the comic books I picked up and give you an idea of how I feel about the comic books. Um, I scored pretty three amazing comic books that I've been on the hunt. One kind of was haunting me for the last year and a half, almost two years. Um, I had a friend tell me over in Sanctuary Comics, which is a, a place I love to go over in Watertown, if you're in the northern New York area check it out, um, just go ahead and I'll put the, the idea and the, the link in the comments below. Um, so I'll remember, I'm going to write that down right now. And you're probably going to see me write down a lot so I don't forget things because with everything going on, I'm going to do this, I'll probably forget some stuff. Um, I end up scoring a um, comic book of Batman 121. If you don't know what that is, Batman 121 is the introduction to Victor Freeze. Um, not one I was quite looking for. But stumbled across it. I'm a huge Batman fan. I, um, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I used to be into indie comics, and then what got me to the mainstream parts of the comics was Batman. Um, so I found this CGC rated one point uh, seven point five. Sorry, um, I'm not going to show you the comics because um, I have them all down, locked up in a safe. That's you know, waterproof, fireproof, everything like that. I have abundance, like um, Walking Dead issue number one that I actually found. Before the movie series, before the comic book, TV, I mean, TV series, before the comic book came out. So, I mean, before the show came out, so I picked it up at like Barnes and Noble for $3.99 and thought it was really good. I thought I'd pick it up the series, and then next thing you know, everyone started liking it. So, obviously, I kept it, and it's worth a lot of money now, which is awesome. Um, also, wasn't looking at it, but my wife's a huge, huge fan, and I um, stumbled across their, her through the New Avengers series. Miss Marvel issue number one from 1976. Um, that grade was 5.7, a little lower than what I expected, but the price I got it for, couldn't, couldn't say enough, you know what I mean? And then the one that's been haunting me for the last <laughs> two years, um, New Mutants 128. And if you don't know this, that is, it's um, actually the first appearance of Deadpool. I'm a huge Deadpool fan, not one of my favorite characters, but in the top five. Um, I saw it back in Georgia, over at Second and Charles for 90 bucks, and just because of money, I decided not to go get it. And then I went on a vacation in Kentucky with my boy Josh, and I uh, went to his comic book store. I have no idea what that was. To his comic book store, and they had it. Uh, good copy, 9.8. Do one selling to me for 100 dollars, which is normally sold for anywhere between 450 to 500 bucks. But because of money issues and things going on, I said no. And then I found it over at this comic book store for 7.5 uh, 7 CGC grade, and if you don't want CGC grade, it's an official grading of what the comic book is. You can check out watermarks, water damages, uh, folds, things like that. And 
denigrated off of that, and then you can sell it for a higher thing. I don't know if I'm going to sell them, but it's, it's something that's great to have because I was a big fan of the series and a big fan of the writers and, and Marvel itself. Um, so those are the three major big pickups I've had. Um, what I'm looking forward to picking up, um, Death of Wolverine, I'm going to try to pick up all the entire thing because that's going to be a big thing later on in the future because you know, Wolverine can't really die and see what's going on, so I kind of want to see what's going to happen with that. I'm interested in definitely reading that. I may even pick up the collection series. Um, I picked up a collection series of Kill Audio, uh, done by the same guy from Cody in Cambria, who did uh, Amory Wars. Um, like thing, it's like a twisted version of uh, Wizard of Oz. Um, it's about a guy named Audio, um, who um, is immortal. And he can't die, he doesn't know what his place in the world is. So that's what he's trying to figure out. Um, so then after that, it goes to the next section will probably be movies and TVs, um, TV series. I just watched, um, I want to say last Saturday, the Doctor Who season finale part one, uh, Dark Water. Absolutely amazing. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I just tell you that Cybermen are back. And I'm definitely pretty excited about the new villain. Um, definitely in awe about Clara. I, had, I liked Clara as a companion, but after what happened in this episode, you probably wouldn't like her either. Definitely go take a look at it. Um, I'm waiting for the release date on the whole collection so I can actually go buy it. Um, because my wife hasn't watched it. Um, and then we go to Gotham. Um, big, big controversy, because everyone was looking forward to it, it's supposed to be a Batman series, not based off Batman, based off Jim Gordon, you know, and it's alright, um, the only issue I have with it is they're trying to push out cameos of every villain of Batman, and the only issue I have with that is, some of the cameos aren't the history of what they are, like, for instance, like, Riddler, not CIS, um, he, he, yeah, he wasn't. Uh, I think that's a, a big thing. Uh, it's more this whole thing is ne not about Gordon, but the slow evolution of of Penguin. And they said that's what's going to happen in the first season. It's going to be about Penguin, and the next one's going to be about somebody else, and the next one's going to be about somebody else. And it's going to slowly portray into the fact of Bruce Wayne. But Bruce Wayne is so young, and his timeline's not matching up for me. And I'm just, I, I, I'm worried about it because I'm just afraid that they were just like, hey, let's do a crime show. Alright, we got the crime show. What are we going to call it? Well, let's change the guy's name to Jim Gordon and just slap a Batman thing on it called Gotham. And that scares me. So, hopefully, they fix it up. Um, maybe, like I said, season two, they wait a couple more years and Bruce Wayne's a little bit older. You know, even if they shoved off Bruce Wayne to boarding school, that would have been alright. Um, so, after that, um, we all know that the Avengers 2... Age of Ultron um, trailer came out, absolutely amazing. Hawkbuster looked freaking phenomenal. I was, I'm a big fan of that. I, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, Ultron, as you can tell, if you have noticed, if you look in the beginning of the trailer and the end of the trailer, he slowly evolves. Ultron is the destruction of planets, and I'm looking forward to that because um, because uh, what what they revealed, like what Marvel revealed into the. Um, what they plan on doing for the next couple years, you know, with the, the Black Panther movie, uh, the Captain Marvel thing, aka Miss Marvel, depending on which genre, gender they want to do, could turn awesome. And then it goes into the Civil War series, which I'm kind of upset because they, you know, they put it in a Captain America movie. The Civil War series was a six part thing. I have a book signed by Stan Lee, it's about that thick, it has everything to it. There is no way that they're going to be able to fit all the amazing parts of the Civil War series in one hour and 30 minute movie of Captain America. Uh, maybe they can do it. I don't know. Um, cause, like, maybe Ben Affleck can, is really good at playing Batman. Who knows? I didn't think he, Heath Ledger was going to be or Anna Hathaway for Catwoman. You never know. So high hopes. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but another reveal was the fact that one of the movie pickups I picked up, um, Inhumans, and I picked up the Marvel Knight edition of Inhumans, which is a kind of like a comic book storytelling type thing. Uh, they did it with Spider Woman, for, and you can find that on Netflix. You can find this at your Walmart for like nine ninety five, I think it was. 
um, or if you're military, you can go to the PX, and it's also there for $9.95 and uh, no tax. So go to any of that. Um, and I forgot how bad ass <laughs> Black Bolt is. Black Bolt, yes, he's the, the king of the Inhumans. Inhumans are a genetically altered mutants. What they are is they're mutants, but they have a deficiency. Like, um, like Spike, you know, Spike from, from, uh, from the uh, X-Men, like Spike's come out of his arms and, 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 and things like that. So it's, I forgot that Black Bolt was a big contender for a lot of things. He's also in the new, new Avengers. Um, he was a big fighter. He fought Magneto. He fought in a really good fight, better than Wolverine with Hulk. Um, it was pretty freaking amazing. And I forgot about that, so I'm actually looking forward. They they, they have to put Black Bolt in human humans because that's what made Black Bolt. So find out about that um, movie that's coming out that I'm going to see. Hopefully Friday, I'm going to well, just go see it. Big Hero Six, even though it's not a Marvel, it's a Disney, and Disney is wrapped with Marvel. So hopefully it turns out really well. Um, then I'm going to go to my next bit which is games. Um, I went over and decided to go a little different and went with um, Monster Hunter 3. Um, I heard from the superhuman, uh, superhero friend or super friends off of the podcast. Put the thing in my, uh, my description. Um, and uh, just had to check it out. It's a grinder. It's a big grinding game. It's a hunting game. You hunt monsters. Um, get different rewards different armor, so obviously you bigger armors, or bigger swords, or better stuff, and it's a big grind, it's kind of like Destiny, um, except it's one player, and then you can get a uh, local, local, uh, local online, and play with friends of four people, now I just gotta have friends to be able to play with four people, um, next one after that, which is really a big surprise, was uh, Super Smash Brothers, um, Super Smash Brothers was picked up. Um, like I said, it's because of uh, SFC, um, and I haven't played one since the Nintendo 64, so I was kind of worried because I wasn't a big fan of it, because I'm not a big fan of fighting games, because fighting games tend to just be a linear storyline, and then after you beat that, it's just pretty much fighting, and then, you know, you can trophy hunt, trophy hunt, you want to unlock a guy, you unlock a guy, but I, the newer style stuff nowadays, if you want to unlock a guy, you gotta pay for 99 for the guy. This actually has hidden characters in it. You don't even have to buy them. You know, unless you want to get to the amiibo section, which I will get to a little later about you know, amiibos. But it's, yeah, it, it's it's not like Marvel's Capcom 3 where I had to pay for extra skins and I had to pay for extra people or Tekken or Tekken Cross Street Fighter or anything like that. It's an old traditional fighting game and I actually like it. It's not that bad. I was kind of hoping I don't get bored of it. And it's also online for it. So, you know, it's got all your old Nintendo characters, including Pac-Man and Mega Man, and of course the originals like Captain Falcon, and Mario, Luigi. There's no Wario. I haven't unlocked him. I don't know if he's actually in it, but I'll let you know later on. Um, and then for the bigger console, decided to go with um, Evil Within. Um, picked up Evil Within because I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil series. So when, even when it comes down to crappy ones, such as like six, um, the writer of this series went to uh, Bethesda and he worked with Evil Within. It's not a bad game. Um, it takes me a little bit more time to get to because it's definitely a uh, a mind working game because you know I would explain you the first 15 minutes of the game but I don't think it's a great idea. I just go out and get it. It's one of those deals if you have game flying, go ahead and do it. You know, um, if you see it used, pick it up. Um, Unless you're a big hardcore survival fan and you're looking for something, you know, like a um, survival horror fan, sorry, and you're looking for something that's going to put you up in there in the next tier contenders, definitely go pick it up if you want to, you know, pick, pick it up full price. Um, so, those are my, my collections up for the day. Um, I also have like two movies that I picked up. Um, picked up Transformers Extinction. Um, I was a little worried about it, but I'm a big fan of Mark Wahlberg, I guess. I felt like, you know, East Coast has got to definitely support his butt. Um, and I, I think it's great. It rebooted the franchise for me. Um, I watched the first one, watched the second one, didn't watch the third one, 
didn't watch the uh, yeah, didn't watch the third one. I think there was, was there a fourth one. I don't remember. There was a fourth one. Maybe that's the fourth one. But like I said, I haven't watched them, and so I decided to pick it up because there's no Shia LaBeouf, there's no Fox, you know, nothing like that, and it's actually really good. Um, the storyline is basically the humans are hunting the Transformers, you now Autobots and Decepticons. And it brings in a lot of stuff, which is actually really good. And I'm actually looking forward to the next one, if they're going to do a next one, because who created Transformers? Who created the Autobots? And that's what they kind of lingered into. So, yeah. Um, after that, I picked up, of course, because if y'all know me, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. You know, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods. Um, i trying to recollect all my collection of the Dragon Ball Z's. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT series, and they came out with this. I saw it for Blu-ray for about nineteen ninety-five at Walmart. So heck yeah, let's go do this. So I purchased it and uh, fell in love with it. It's a different portrayal of Dragon Ball Z. It's got the same styles. It's got the same attitude. It's got the same fighting things. Um, you know, it's kind of out of linear with the story, but it's in between the end of Killing Boo and the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, so it's not that bad, um, good fight with Goku and Beerus, uh, Beerus is the new villain of the movie, but a different critique of what a villain is, so check it out, it's not a bad idea if you're a big fan of the Dragon Ball Z series, um, so after that, um, I was going to go into the fact of Destiny and the Amiibos, but I'll go ahead and just put those in my description. Um, I don't want to keep you guys for too long because I know I have a short attention span and I have to listen to anything that's more than 15 minutes on my car ride to work. So, um, so I'm going to leave off with a special message and the special message is that I need a writer, I need a reader. Um, I am currently working on two comic books. One's called Into the Darkness. The other one doesn't have a title yet. Um, I don't want to give a title because, um, yeah, it's just kind of an idea floating around right now that I'm just writing up. I have a third story, which I was working on with my Dying Squirrel crew, but that kind of died out. Um, I want to revamp it, and let's see if we can bring back Brooks, to see if Brooks will definitely get on board to help me out. Um, I would like to bring back the whole crew, like, you know, Cepeda, um, Traver, Stumpy, um, the Pledger and Santos wanted to get back on, that'd be awesome. Um, I'll see if I can get jump, jump on with all those people. Um, maybe even if you guys who are watching wants to jump in and be a reader or wants to write or, or has ideas or, you know, wants to review stuff with me, hit me up. Um, this will be on my Facebook. This is going to be on my YouTube. And if you want to hit me up on uh, uh, Gmail I'll, uh, or Google, I'll uh, give you the you know, my email below. Um, it's also going to be T-E-K-A dot B-O-O-M at gmail.com. Um, so good and finally the last piece is um, I'm trying to support my wife my wife's a really great singer um, and she's posting videos of herself singing on YouTube she doesn't know I know this but I found them and um, so I'm going to post that link below take a look at it give your comments um, you can be harsh but don't be too harsh because you know we all are our own worst critics so that's the end of my thing um, my if you have any questions or you want any reviews on any thoughts of how games are or movies or anything like that, just let me know. Hit me up. Um, and the, uh, the final thing I want to leave off with is every review or every idea, every movie, every game, every comic that I look at, I, I give you my personal in, my personal idea on it. It's my personal idea. Um, everybody is different. Um, so if you know, one man's trash, like I say, is another man's treasure. Um, I, there was Binary Domain, a great game that I personally love. I loved it so much, I bought it twice. I lent it out to a guy, it got taken away, because I moved, and then I bought it again. Um, it got bad reviews, it got 5.5. I loved it. I played that game four or five times. So, whatever I say, I'll give you why I like the game, and if you think that's a great feature of why you like the game, of, if you like the same thing, and Give it a shot, but I'm not going to tell you, oh, it's a 4.0 out of 5 or 9 out of 10. I'm just going to give you my thumbs up or thumbs down. Like, Drive Club, don't pick it up. Uh, terrible, terrible game. Not as a big hype. If it was free on PlayStation Plus, yes, pick it up. But if not, don't. 
Anything else? Um, nope, that would be it. So just remember, guys, that um, you're awesome. Um, and thank you for watching. And God bless.